Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lori and this is my place where I share all things crafting, planning, and Disney related. If those are things that bring you joy and you want to learn more about, be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this with your family and friends who may be interested in this. Um, I want to give a shout out to my hubby for the graphics in this video at the beginning of the video. Um, hashtag he's a keeper. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how I made a couple of the gifts for a friend of mine who was going to meet up with some of her line sisters and she wanted to bring them a couple of gifts. She asked me to make some luggage tags and acrylic handbag for her as well as an umbrella that she would be using during what is called the second line. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how I made these luggage tags. I used my Cricut to design and cut the vinyl for my projects today and I had recorded the design process in Cricut Design Space but my computer actually crashed and I lost all that footage. But if you want to see how I design in Cricut Design Space, uh, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see a video and I can take you through beginning to end how to create a design um, using Cricut Design Space. So here you can see after I have created my design, I let the Cricut do its thing and it's cutting out the image in an Avery vinyl that I purchased from a local um, art store here in San Antonio, Texas. And I'll link their information down below. They're a wonderful store. They always have wonderful customer service, super friendly, and a great variety of items. The items that I use today for this project is the vinyl that I told you about. And we also purchased these luggage tags from Amazon. Again, I'll link everything down below. Um, this is the transfer tape that I actually purchased from Herwex, and I love that it is the four inch tape. It's just the perfect width for most of the projects that I use vinyl for. I also use some rubbing alcohol, and here I have it in a little container that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and this has been one of the greatest purchases I've ever made, just to have the uh, rubbing alcohol easily accessible, and I can just get out a little bit at a time and don't have to worry about spilling it. Um, it's just been a lifesaver, so that's a really good crafting hack for you. Um, I also used a weeding pick. This happens to be the Cricut one, but you can use any type of weeding pick. If you don't have a weeding pick, I've been known to use a uh, push pin in the past as well. And then I also used a cloth to use with the rubbing alcohol. And as you can see here, I'm just taking a little bit of that rubbing alcohol and the microfiber cloth to remove any of the oils that are on the luggage tag. And that's gonna help to make sure that the vinyl really adheres to the luggage tag once I place it. So now I am weeding the vinyl. And um, let me tell you guys, you'll see it later in the video, but the struggle was real with this one. I forgot that I had used my Cricut earlier in the day to cut some corrugated board. So I forgot to check the blade and you should check the blade after you cut something like corrugated board because um, it wasn't cutting very well for me because I needed to clean the blade essentially. So um, you don't see it as much with these tags, but with the acrylic bag, you will definitely see my struggle with that. So it was a total rookie move, but if you're using your die cutting machine and you're having the same problem, check the blade. It probably just needs to be cleaned. So um, here you can see after I weeded the items, I cut them into smaller pieces and I grabbed my scraper. It, this is a Cricut scraper, but you can use any type of scraper. And I used the transfer tape to place it on top of the vinyl and um, pick up the vinyl that I'm going to place on the luggage tags. So here you can see I'm just scraping the front and the back and that actually helps to get a little more adhesion to the transfer tape. And I use this mat. This is actually a mat from Cricut. You can use any type of crafting mat like this, but I use this mat to line up and find the center of my item. So you can see that I actually place it along that center blue line. So I'm able to see where the center of the luggage tag is. And I also will fold the transfer tape in half 
and um, that gives me a center point for my image. So here you can see I just lined the pieces, the image up when I fold it in half, and I'm able to use that crease line to line up with the blue line on the mat, and that makes sure that I'm, I'm centering it. So here you can see I am placing it on the luggage tag, and again using the scraper to um, adhere it to the luggage tag. And then I actually cut an outline out because I wanted to add a little more detail. Um, I could have easily have done two layers and layered the white vinyl on top of the silver vinyl, but I really only wanted to have one layer. Since I knew it was a luggage tag, I didn't want to add any more um, surface area that could get snagged onto something um, while luggage is being moved around. So I really just wanted to have only one layer. So that's why I chose to do the outline here. So I cut out the silver outline and here you can see I'm using this transfer tape again. I absolutely love this transfer tape. It's just so easy to use to manipulate. It's not as sticky as most other transfer tapes. Um, so I am just going through and lining it up and ensuring that it's properly adhered. And I really think that it just gives it an extra pop it makes it look just so pretty. It makes it stand out. And here you can see the difference between the two. I mean, that sparkly silver glitter. And it's really nice because it's not a textured glitter. It's a very um, glossy glitter. So it just looks really nice. And I was really happy with the outcome. So for the second project, I again used the exact same images and I just cut them out in a bigger dimension to fit this acrylic handbag that was purchased off of Amazon. Again, I used the exact same material. So I had the scraper, the um, pick to weed, the transfer and a microfiber cloth and again, the rubbing alcohol. Um, and really I just followed the exact same process. Um, this was just a little bit bigger and the key here is to make sure that as you're weeding, anytime you're weeding um, vinyl, to make sure that you don't let the vinyl stick back on itself. So that's always um, something to try to make sure you don't do. There's been times where I've had to recut something because I accidentally got the vinyl stuck to something else. Um, but here you can really see my struggle with um, things that just did not cut out properly and I was trying to salvage it as much as I could. Um, this is kind of like my little surgery put here um, and essentially it's because I didn't check the blade. So I just went through the process of weeding this and used my scissors to try to trim away what I could. And then I did the same thing with the red vinyl, which was much easier to do. And I used my transfer tape again to um, transfer the image. And funny story, I have a friend who bought a Cricut not too long ago, and she made this really cool display for her dog. It actually, it's a little dog food holder. And I was like, man, that looks so good. And she's like, oh my gosh, this takes so much time. Like, I can't believe that you do this so frequently. And I said, what do you mean it takes so much time? Um, through our conversation, we had realized that she did not know about transfer tape. So she spelled out her dog's name and used each letter as if it were a sticker and peeled it up by hand to place it on the container. And I have to tell you, my friend is so OCD. It was perfectly lined up and looked wonderful. I had no idea she didn't use transfer tape, but guys use transfer tape. It's like the best thing ever. So here's the really cool acrylic handbag that we purchased off of Amazon. And I just thought it was really nice. I mean, it has this really cool strap and it's see-through and that actually made it really easy to craft with this because I could actually just see through and find the center line. So I used my mat to line it up. And again, using rubbing alcohol to remove any of the oils from my hands. And then I go ahead and um, it was taking a little bit longer to dry. So I start fanning it with, with my um, decals. Um, but just as we did before, you're just going to take your items and I like to fold the transfer tape in half and make sure that you only fold upon the non-sticky part. Don't make the mistake of folding the, the sticky parts together or else you're totally going to lose your um, decal.
So I fold it in half and then I use that fold line to line up with the blue line on my mat to make sure that it's centered. And I place the item using my scraper to scrape the decal onto the vinyl and then I tear away the transfer tape at an angle. So I go through and I just wanted to make sure, again, since this is going to be handled, I really wanted to make sure that all of the edges were placed really well and they weren't going to snag on anything. And I end up using a different scraper that I received with the vinyl purchase I made years ago when I first started um, using vinyl. And I really like this scraper. I wish I knew where it was from because it's got that really sharp point and so it makes it very easy to um, use with any type of like fine details and really get on the edges. So I'm just going through and making sure that everything is adhered well and then I attempt, keyword attempt, to place the outline. Um, I noticed that the delta wasn't really sticking that well to begin with and it wasn't lining up so I decided to cut the delta from the Sigma Theta images and just try to work with them individually. And so I'm going through and I'm trying to do my little Frankenstein surgery here. And as you can see, it doesn't end up working that well because nothing lined up. So at this point, I said to myself, I'll just recut the delta and I'll work with the Sigma Theta that I have. And so I'm placing it down and voila, nothing worked. So <laughs> I gave up on that. So as you can see with this final product, I actually just left the red Delta Sigma Theta images there. And I think the bag turned out really well. It would have been really nice to add the pop of color and I can always go back and add that, but she needed it that day. So I just left it as is. Um, I also wanted to share with you, these are the final products. I did um, some black tags as well and I did the black tags with both white and red vinyl and I also created this umbrella that she was going to use during their what is called the second line so it's kind of like you know in New Orleans when you have the um, march for the weddings that's called the second line and they do that at some of their sorority events and so um, she asked if I could make this umbrella for her and I was really excited because this is the first umbrella that I've done and um, I actually used heat transfer vinyl for this umbrella. So if you are interested to see how I made this, let me know, um, comment down below and let me know if you wanna see that um, and I can recreate it for you. It was really fun to make. I had a blast and um, she really loved it. I was really excited that she was able to um, share it with her sisters and have a good time and participate in the second line and, um, those feathers were um, fun and heartache to place as well. <laughs> um, and then I also placed that silver piping that's going from the top to the bottom of the umbrella. So here's a quick little video of her in action twirling it. And um, I hope that you liked the way that these turned out. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. And I look forward to sharing another video soon. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Take care and stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Bye, guys.